Welcome everyone to Unity of the Blue Ridge. I'm Reverend Gabby and this is Reverend Barbara Ann. And now Reverend Barbara Ann is going to do our blessing of the children. Hello girls and boys, so glad you're with us today. Close your eyes and know that we love you, we bless you, we appreciate you, and we behold the divinity in you. Amen. Excellent. And now for a video about a little ant who can't move a rubber tree plant. Next time you're found with your chin on the ground, there's a lot to be learned. So look around. Just what makes that little old ant think he'll move that rubber tree plant? Anyone knows an ant can't move a rubber tree plant, but he's got high hopes. He's got high hopes. He's got high apple pie in the sky. Hope so anytime you're getting low, instead of letting go, just remember that ant. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree plant. Once there was a silly old ram Thought he'd punch a hole in a dam No one could make that ram scram He kept butting that dam Cause he had high hopes He had high hopes He had high apple pie in the Bad. Instead of feeling sad, just remember that ram. Whoops, there goes a billion kilowatt. Whoops, there goes a billion kilowatt. Whoops, there goes a billion kilowatt. Damn. Reverend Gabby, that was very inspiring. And it, it's such a great idea to think about that ant trying to, you know, get up on that tree and make a difference with all that hope. And you know what? Our last unity principle that we're going to be studying today is all about having that high hope and seeing the very best in life and making a difference. So the, I'm going to read right now unity principle number five, children, and it says, I do and give my best by living the truth I know. I make a difference. Yes, boys and girls, you can make a difference. And you make a difference by practicing all those unity principles that Reverend Gabby and I have been sharing with you over this month. And, we, and we're going to give you an opportunity, this, this lesson, to actually find something that you're really interested in and making a difference by creating a mural or poster, creating something in your home to actually show how you can make a difference by your thoughts and your feelings and what you're going to create. And these are the handouts you're going to get, and I'm going to read, to, read them to you. It says, here's a way to make a difference by remembering all the unity principles to create a mural of the truth directions. Now you're going to get statements and I'll read them to you. It says read each of the statements below. Which statements do you feel strongly about? Choose a few to create a picture or a mural using poster board magazines and your own drawings. Copy the statement on the paper, say a prayer, and create. You make a difference by thinking, feeling, praying, and creating. You are part of the solution. Hang your picture in your home. So that song about having high hopes that Reverend Gabby just sang to you, well, this is going to be a picture of that high hope, but the hope is knowing the truth about God and something that you feel strongly about. Let me get these out. Children, each one of you have something special in your heart that you really care about. 
could be pets, it, it could, you know, it could be in the environment, uh, it could be family and friends. Uh, there's so many different things that you might feel really strong about. So Reverend Gabby and I are giving you five different ideas that we're thinking you can create something to, to show that you know the truth no matter what's going on. You have that high hope, you have that feeling that you can raise your energies and share the truth with the world. The first one says, God's good helps people to find new places to live. Well, you know, I'm sure you heard about a lot of people lost their homes and fires out west. You can draw a mural of brand new houses and people moving into their house. And that's showing that God's God's love is going to get those people in the right and perfect houses at the right and perfect time. The next one says, God guides me, my family, and the family of God to be healthy. You can draw all the people that you know being healthy. Or maybe you want to draw a scene with people um, with masks on or, or social distancing. Just something that reminds us that God always keeps us healthy. The third one says, God blesses people with enough food each day. You can go and cut out lots of food for magazines, put it up on, on that poster. And all the people who might be hungry right now, you can draw the people and the food to remind you that God does bless us with enough food each day. Number four says, God guides every person, no matter what race and culture, to live together in peace, harmony, and prosperity. Well, maybe you want to draw a picture of all your friends that have different colored skin, or they believe different things, or they have different culture, they speak a different language, and you can make a picture of all of you together. And the last one says, God reminds me that my family, teachers, and community members are doing their best. We are all divine beings. You know, at the very beginning of that prayer, we acknowledge that there's divinity in you. And you might want to draw a picture of everybody that you love just to remind yourself that that divinity is in everyone in your life, too. So enjoy. Enjoy making something. Hang it in your house and share it with your family. I hope you have a great week. And by the way, I wanted to say that it was so much fun to see Jack and his little brother and his family last Sunday at church. That was really, really cool. Have a good week. See you next time. Yay. Oh, that's cool. You got to see them. Yeah. All right. Well, now is our time for our prayer for protection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, we know God is. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.